Do copywriters need wireframes when writing copy? Here's why I say yes. You could have this awesome message, but if the design is bad, it's not gonna have the impact that you want on the readers. That's why I recommend copywriters should have a good understanding of how their copy will be translated online. The good news is, for copywriters who aren't sure how to create a wireframe, you can use the tool Canva, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. All right, hey everybody, Terry Schilling here. Welcome to the Terry Schilling Creative YouTube channel. So happy that you're here. I like to share copywriting and marketing tips for all of you on this channel. And today's a little combination of both because as I mentioned, we're gonna show you how to create a website copy wireframe in Canva. Yes, the free graphic design tool. However, I do recommend you upgrade to Pro because there's a lot of great features, but yes, Canva offers a ton of templates and something new that they're offering are website wireframes. You can choose a variety of different templates, make them responsive and add in your copy. And it's great to send to clients and also to have for yourself because both of you can see what the copy will look like online. You can see how the reader is going to digest it. You can start creating that good user experience. Another benefit is you can pass this along to the designer so they can see how they can implement your copy into the design. And that's why I recommend copywriters have a good understanding of how to create wireframes. Luckily, Canva has a great way to do this. So I created this step-by-step -step guide to show you how to create it. It's really quick, really simple. And the beautiful thing about Canva is, again, they have tons of templates. You can add in all the elements here to make it look like a real website. And I'm gonna show you how you can save it, send to your clients, save for yourself to keep editing, and again, see how your copy is gonna look. So let's get right into the step-by-step -step guide. Okay, everyone, so to get started here, you need to go to Canva and log into your Canva account. And if you don't have one, you can create one for free, which is obviously super helpful. A lot of great features using Canva for free. I have upgraded to the Pro. This is not a promo for Canva, but again, there's a lot of great features that you can get with the Pro account, so go ahead and check out uh, that pricing model and all the extra features that you get if you are interested. But again, you can create one for free. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to show you how to create a website wireframe in Canva. So one of the design templates that you can do is a website. So if you type in website here under, after you click create a design, we have website, bio link, website, mobile first. Let's go to this first one under website. So we have all the templates that you can choose from, uh, you know, food blog, consultancy and coaching, but a lot of these you can click and adjust accordingly to what your product or service is. This is what I like to use with my clients. So let's go ahead and use um, this one here, pretty simple design element here. We can go to apply to all five pages. And as you can see, everything shows up here. And then you can go into Canva and you can adjust the photos and elements of it. So let's just say we are doing like a coaching um, service. Like I'd say it's an entrepreneur who is a professional business coach. Um, you know, we'll go and use a photo like this. You know, we can adjust it here, add it in like so, right? And then we can go ahead and adjust it accordingly to how we like. We can even do this and we can move it so she's a little bit more front and center. So that's our professional business coach. And then you can go ahead and update the headline here. Like, are you looking for a professional business coach? Start with a question, good copywriting tip. You can adjust that and you can even add in buttons now too. So if you're writing copy and you have like a good call to action button as well, you can go under elements, you can type in here button and you can see what options show up. Uh, maybe we use this one here and we can go ahead and put it right where we need it to, adjust the sizing and you can put in copy over that button as well, right? So we can go into like text, you can go into subhead and we can just say click here for uh, for the sake of this. So, and then we can center it, bam, click here, right? Another cool feature that you can do, um, let's say you wanted all the background to be one color. You find a photo, you can go under effects, re background remover. This is a feature on Pro. Again, we talked about some of the other exclusive ones that you can have, but as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and remove the background for you which is super helpful because then if you have specific brand colors, you can change the background color to that one image um, and you can still have the photo of yourself or the photo that you would typically use. So here it did all that for us, which is great. 
and then you can go to colors and something like this, add in the blue that you like. Um, and so there's that one. And then as we go down, and again, when you click publish, this will not show up like that, okay? Um, but here, we can also just go ahead and crop this just in case. And that's simple. Here we have your brand story, so you could type in copy that you'd like there. Um, and then, you know, again, using this template, you can go to my services instead of our top products. And you can type in the copy here, um, you know, like one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one coaching. You can type in there. And then you can also do go to elements and you can type in icons or you can find icons here. So let's just say we wanted to do a light bulb, right? Like an idea. You can go ahead and put that here. You can remove this picture. You can adjust it. You can have icons here instead of actual images. And what's cool about Canva, if you guys see down here, look at this magic recommendations. You can go see all and you can see similar templates or icons um, within that category. So we can use like this magnifying glass as one. Um, but again, this is just really helpful for the client to get an idea of what their website can look like with your copy. And if you're a designer, you can also create, you know, quick mock-ups for this, maybe send it to a proposal for them as well. But again, this is just to show you an idea here, um, customer reviews, uh, connect with us. You guys can easily go and find photos, type in search stock photos, go to different elements and find those. But after you've edited your design and you've put in all your copy um, and you've made all the adjustments that you'd like to, here's all that you need to do next. Publish as website. So you get a few different options under web style, presentation, scrolling, classic navigation, standard. I'll go through these quickly. So if I choose presentation, I go to open website, it opens it up in a new window. And all you would need to do is go into the browser, copy that URL and send that to the client. But if we go back, this one is my favorite, the scrolling feature. Check this out. This one is just a more modern feel. So there we have our coach. And then if we scroll down, the content kind of flows. It appears as we scroll, which is really nice. And then you can see all your copy in there um, as they scroll, which is great. Now, the other two here, classic navigation bar, a multi-page website. So what this one is, is the navigation bars at the top and to browse, they have to click the buttons at the top here. And then the last one is a standard one. Um, that has the navigation bar at the top, but then also you just scroll down and you can see the pages there. Um, but that's really it, guys. That's all you need to do. Start and open the design, go to website. Again, you can also do this on mobile, make all the adjustments and design elements that you need. Um, you know, but with all the templates that Canva has, it's really easy to build an attractive wireframe and then add in your copy as you go and let the client see that ahead of time. Because again, it does help decrease time for edits and just gives them a good visual of what the copy can look like when the website is live online. All right, there you have it. How to create a wireframe in Canva. Thank you guys so much for watching this today. I hope that it's helpful. I know that there's other tools out there. I use Draftium before. I know there's other graphic design tools, but I love how Canva keeps listening to their customers and offering these new features. And that website wireframe template, that option to look up and create a design is really helpful for all the copywriters, service providers out there. So again, hope you found this tip actionable and helpful. Thank you so much for watching today and stopping by the Terry Schilling Creative YouTube channel. Next, I got a couple other recommended videos and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Would love to see you back here when I'm delivering more copywriting marketing tips and doing some live streams as well. I will see you next time. Happy writing. Love what you do. Proceed with passion. See you later.